Tony, I'm so glad you met with us. Thank you so much. Um, You're welcome. My name is also Tony. Um, yes. And I pastor Napa Valley Life Church, which is over on Trower. Mm -hmm. And so we're, we're putting out a bunch of videos every day on just different content for people. And one of the things we want to do is just be a good neighbor. And so, you know, we have a congregation that's eating out. And so we wanted to just share restaurants, their stories, and uh, just say, hey, here's some of the deals. Now go buy food from them is kind of what we're yeah, doing with this. I'll take that any day. <laughs> <laughs> we, and our, really our heart is just to be a good neighbor. We love you guys. And we know that this is tough on everybody right now. I agree. All right. So Tony, let's start with this. Could you tell me a little bit? I was looking up some of the history of Sweetie Pies. And I know it came out of you working at a different job and then going into baking. So could you share some of your story with us on how it got started? Well, I'm from the East Coast originally, and I was living in uh, Boston, and I was doing a little um, baking on the side when I lived there. Um, I moved to Philadelphia, and then from Philadelphia came out here to work at Table 29 with uh, Jonathan Waxman and Steven Singer. And then that turned into Bistro Don Giovanni. And so I was pastry chef there for, so I was in that building about two and a half years. And then um, I lost my job and I started the bakery out of my house. And I didn't mean to do it. I just was baking for people and dropping stuff off at stores. That's all I did. No oh, that's menu. Incredible. No menu, no pricing, no nothing. <laughs> that's, that's incredible. Yeah. And so you, uh, you said, I, I saw a little bit on your website that your mom kind of got you started in baking. And then you went to well, culinary school after that. Yes, I went to small culinary schools. I didn't do a big one. Okay. Um, my mother was a cook. They had a luncheonette back east um, when I was growing up. So she would cook um, every day of the week. And then I went to culinary school in, in um, Cambridge, Mass first. Okay. Yeah. And then I did a six-week extensive program with a gentleman named Albert Kuhlman in, um, in New York. Okay. Not in New York City. It was, in the, it was near my sister's house in um, South Salem. It's near South Salem, uh, New York. Okay. So that was, it was good. It was a great learning experience. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. that's, that's great. Well, I'll tell you one of the things that was sent to me, which got me excited when you said you wanted to do an interview. We had a church member send me a toilet paper cake from oh, you guys. Yeah. Yep. And it was incredible. And it tastes, uh, I think it even tasted better than it looked, which it looked spot on. And we weren't, sh we weren't sure if we were more excited to get toilet paper than we realized it was a cake. And we're like, mm -hmm. oh, even better, right? Yep. <laughs> so tell us how yep. you came about that. I mean, the design was incredible. You guys did well, such a good job. Oh, my, I have a, a friend that sent me video from, they were doing this in Germany. Okay. And so it was a little video. And so I showed it to my girl and I said, what do you think? And Olivia has been with me since for like, let's see, off and on. She left once and came back. Um, I've known her for almost 20 years and she learned on the job. Oh, doing wow. This. Oh yeah. You should see what she does. That's so, incredible. She, we have all kinds of little things and she found the right tool to make the imprint that it looks just <laughs> like Charmin. It does. It's and, hilarious. Oh my God. And so, and I mean, we're doing at least 20 to 30 a day. Wow. Wow. That's, I mean, that's incredible. It's so um, ingenious to come up with that. I mean, yes. pe I mean, people love that. So tell me, how are you guys doing? I know COVID's affecting so many small businesses, especially hospitality businesses. How are you guys doing in the midst of all of this? We're actually lucky. Okay. Nobody else is open but one little bakery downtown. Okay. And we're doing dinners. So I don't even know how that started. I was trying to remember, I was trying to figure that out the other day. Um, we did the chicken pot pie first yeah, for a meal and then that worked. And so my, <laughs> my friend was helping me yeah. and we, he said, so we decided, decided to try dinners at night. Yeah. And so we just do them family style. They're basic. I'm not a chef whatsoever. I mean, I cook and I went to cooking school. But yeah. You're probably, you're probably being a little modest there. I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So um, they're taken off like crazy. It's actually been great. We, we're doing some new things. Um, 
and every day we do something except Monday. So when I was looking on your website, I was really surprised that you, to see that you guys were doing dinners. So you did not do that before COVID. Oh, heck no. Really? No. no. Oh, it, wow. We would do lunch specials. Yeah. And I would do the chicken pot pies and I would only do them individually. So um, my, I asked my company, I don't even remember, did I, I think I did them in 10 the first time. I don't even remember how I did them. And I asked the company that I get my boxes from if they had anything. And she sent me these, these, um, they're totally compostable. Oh, wow. And so we started doing the meals in that. And now we're doing, yeah, we're doing a meat pie, which looks like a regular pie. Yeah. And um, our meatloaf is really good. And I I started doing, uh, I did crepes, uh, manicotti, you know what that is? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, So we did, instead of doing it, um, I started doing it in, let's see, I, uh, I started doing these crepes instead of doing pasta Yeah. and we did it last week and I made my, I had a couple of friends that I forced them to have it, and <laughs> but they were really mad at they you. They couldn't for that. believe how good it was. My mother used to do them this way. Oh, wow. Oh my God. They're light as a feather. Oh, so delicious. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Tony, as a, as a church, we're looking to help out small businesses. I know the easiest way is to do takeout for you guys. Is there anything else that we can do to help you guys? Um, no, I, you know, just word of mouth. Yeah. Um, we don't advertise. I'm on Facebook every day. I'm on help save Napa restaurants. Yeah. That's so a great I place. A, I do a, um, I do like a little up, try to do an upbeat thing every day. Yeah. Um, and you know, people seem to like it. They get to know me. Yeah. Now they, you know, because I'm from New York and we're a little different than you guys are out here. <laughs> and um, so what we've done, you know, I do that every day just for people to come in and just tell their friends once they've had something that they like. We're doing specialty cakes. So if there's graduation or something, oh, we're doing cakes. Idea. Yeah, we're doing cakes. Um, I know I have a niece that is supposed to graduate this year. You know, it's tough on the kids. It is. You're absolutely um, right. So, you know, we're, we're doing graduation cakes and birthday cakes. A lot of people are getting the toilet paper cakes. So, yep. you know, any way that they can come in. Um, my staff is very friendly. They're really great. I have a, a great staff up front and in the back. I have people working for me. Let's see. I've been in business since 94. So what's that, six, 26 years now? Oh, you're going to make me do math. Yeah, 26 years. 26 right. years. And so I've had uh, one guy in my kitchen. He's been with me since the beginning. Oh, wow. That's incredible. Yep. Oh, that's yep. great. So, Quite a Tony, few of them. So, Tony, you got dinners that are going on now that, that are new. Uh, dinners, the toilet yep, paper and cake. we're going to continue them when this ends. Uh, see, this is one of my – if there's anything – if there's a bright end of this tunnel um, – I'm excited for a lot of the innovations that kind of have come out of COVID that people are going to keep. Like this sounds, I was looking at your menu and I was starving. (laughs) I was ready to order all of it. Uh, it So it looks so good. Um, So you got the, the dinners, you got the toilet paper cakes, which are just blowing up. Everybody's so excited about those, the graduation cakes. Is there anything else that you would really say, Hey, this is a special thing that we're doing that we really want to point some new customers to. No, I mean, we're going to continue doing things. And when I have something, I will put it on Facebook. Yeah. You know, like I have a Mother's Day menu. So we're doing some special desserts for Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. We're doing a deal. (laughs) We have the dinner deal, I call it. Yeah. Where you order the dinner with um, a toilet paper cake and you get a free roll of toilet paper. (laughs) And that's $50. So you get a little off the toilet paper cake, a couple of bucks off. Yeah. Uh, so we're doing that. That's a fun thing to do. And people are gifting that too. Yeah. That's how I we got ours. Great. Yeah. We got, we got ours. We got a text message that says, go outside. And there was the cake. It was, we loved it. It was so I'm good. Oh, uh, well, glad. Tony, I don't want to keep you too long. And I appreciate you coming on time. I know Zoom's kind of hard to figure out sometimes. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. It's, uh, I can't wait to tell our people to go and get some sweetie pies. I appreciate it. Thank you yeah. so much for the opportunity. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, you, guys, you have a great day, and I'm looking forward to getting okay, one of those dinners. And, so now you can come in and visit me. That's absolutely right. Okay. All right. Have a great day, Tony. You too, honey. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, church. So there you heard it. Dinners, pies, uh, toilet paper cakes, 
everything you can imagine down at Sweetie Pies. I encourage you guys go check out their menu. Tony is a wonderful person, um, and I think it just be it would be beneficial for you. Have a great day, and we love you guys. And that's my son. Look how cute he is. Yeah. <laughs>